up guys? This is James from James Air Productions and welcome to another Reaper tutorial video. In my last video, I talked about how to add a plugin directly to a track just by one click. But that way of doing it only allows you to add your plugin at its default state. So you cannot have any, uh, any settings on it. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add a plugin directly by only one click again with your own settings on it. So it's going to be like this. Now you can see that um, the EQ has been set it by me before, so it's not it's in this default state anymore. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. Let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is to set up your plugin. What I mean by that is you get your plugin out. So in this case, I'm going to use an EQ for a sample. I'm going to make a high pass filter on 45 kilohertz like that. And then you go back to your um, window, save it. Just save where you save your uh, chains. I'm going to name it high pass filter 45 hertz. Save. Now that's done. You got your plugin set up. Now open up your action list and type resource. Open this up. Now, if it's your first time using this, it's going to be empty. And so the first thing you want to do is right click this and set your auto field directory. So this is where your all your FX chains are. So you can set it up to set your folder which I already did. Um, and then make sure this is enabled and click, uh, left click this. So we can see that the list is updated. And now, um, by default, your, uh, your, it's gonna be in the first one. Um, that's good. So you, you don't want it to be on slot 5 or 6 and because I'll explain later. So just make the, the move your plugin to one of the slots in 1 to 4. Um, I'll explain why later. Now it's in slot 3, so that's done. And now we're almost done. Go back to your plugin uh, action list again and type paste fx chain now go down now you can see this this is why i asked you to put your plugins in one of the four slots because you only have four slots but don't worry i'm gonna teach you how to have it up to like um how how many you want like i have I, you can have like a thousand or a hundred something like that i'm gonna teach you that later on so you can you have this here. So just to make sure it worked, now just run this. Yes, so it worked. So now we can see that that is already set up. Now we just have to go to your toolbar, so uh, wherever you want your button to be. Um, my button is gonna be here. Customize, add. Paste FX chain. Um, just select this. Select. So I'm just gonna quickly rename it. High pass filter 45 hertz. Safe. So now, there you go. That's done. So that's how you do it. One more thing, one more one more thing you can do to improve your workflow is go back to your action list and click new and find that slot three. Edit. Now find another one which is a fine float fx 
find this flow select the FX for selected tracks. Go here, click. Oh, let's give it a name. Add and float high pass filter, forty five hertz. So now that's done. So we're gonna we're gonna customize this again. Change the action. Oh, sorry. Change. We want to change it to the action we just created. Add and flow high pass filter, uh, forty five hertz. See that? Oh my god! We have to re rename again. High pass filter. Right. Now that's done. Save. So now, there you go. That's more efficient. Uh, some people want to float it right away. Some people don't. But that's the way you do it to make it float immediately afterwards. So now I'm going to teach you how to have more slot for this thing. How to have have more slots so that you can have like unlimited um, uh, buttons to do that. So now go to your options and click show Weeper resource path in Finder. So you get this. Now you want to close your Weeper, save wherever you have it. If you want to save it, I'm not going to save it. You have this. And then go to, go down here. You find this SNM file, right click, open it with a notepad. So you see this stuff, it looks really confusing, I know. But the only thing you have to find is that action we were looking for, which is paste FX chain to selected tracks, which is this one, paste FX chain. Yeah. And then you see here is four. Now you can change it. Um, I don't recommend changing it to like 10,000, something like that. I think it's going to crash Reaper, and I don't think you need that many. So for now, I'm going to have 50. Just make sure it's the right one. Yep. Save it. Close it. Close it. Now open Weeper again. And go and find that thing again. You can see now you have up to 50 slots. So that's a lot of thing you can do with it. Because you can see like the one we saved before is actually a, um, an FX chain. So you can have multiple plugins here. And you can just add it in just one click. Make Let's bind it to one of your um, buttons. You can just add it by one click. That's how you do that stuff. So that's it for today. I hope that helps. Um, if you find it helpful, please give it a like. And I will have more and more of this stuff coming up. Um, if you want to see more, just subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Peace.